Are you having trouble with getting text to work in AI imagery? Well, until now, text in AI images hasn't been possible, but with the new control net, we can add text. So let's see if we can get some nice letters in those uh, beautiful images of yours. By the way, I only know 25 letters of the alphabet. I don't know why. All right, so I have this entrance here, this cyberpunk sci-fi scene. And uh, I figure we're going to take and replace this sign up here. And we're going to add a neon sign. We're going to try to get the letters, um, well, spell something that we want. So the first thing we're actually going to do is we're going to go into Photopea or Photop or Photopia, whatever you want to call it. I think the author said Photop, but a lot of people say Photopia. And we're going to drag our image that we want to change into here. And then we're making a text layer. And I'm going to type neon sign. Let's like make this a little bigger. Take some uh, something else. Let's take this one. Looks good. I'm just gonna have it white for now, so I can see where to place it. I'm gonna transform this with uh, free transform, which is Alt Control T. I'm just gonna make this. A little smaller so it fits into the space here there we go now if you for some reason can't make your text white uh, maybe you have an image of a text uh, that you've uh, taken from the internet then you need to go here to blending options here you can go to color overlay you can see here that you, you can change to any color that you want and it will adapt so you could do that then we're gonna go here and we're gonna make sure that if this is not black and white you can press d that will reset it then we'll have black as the foreground then you can press alt backspace or you can go into edit fill the foreground okay so now we're gonna save this image just export that as a jpeg And we can now go back into our stable diffusion. And I'm going to go into image to image in paint. And uh, we're going to be using control nets for this. And if you don't have control nets, you can see my previous tutorials of how to use it and how to install it. So for the first in painting part here, we're putting in our image. And with our control net, which is down here, you're going to drag your text. We're going to enable. You don't want the preprocessor here. We're going to do the depth map. And then I'm going to lower the strength a little bit and up the weight a little bit. Depending on your image and your text, you might need to play around with these settings to get what you want. And we're going to paint here what we want to change. We're not going to change all of the image, we just want to change this sign. And I'm going to put up here neon sign text. I'm going to make sure that I have in paint masked and only masked. Now this image is 640 wide by 512. So this would be my main resolution and you can work with this. But if you want a better result, since we're in painting uh, only mask, you can do this in higher resolution. So I would double this put that to 1280 and this to 10, 24. And the denoising strength we can have um, pretty high for now. Let's go with 0.9. Depending on the background of your image, you might need to change the settings here. I'm going to start with original, but we might need to change this into fill. So let's see. I'm going to take 25 steps here. And we're going to do two images to start. Now I'm just using the default 1.5 model with no special prompts here. So let's generate and see where this gets us. And you can already see that we're getting fairly good results here. We have these two images and I think the right one here is actually is very good. And it's, uh, it's as expected, to be honest. Uh, the left one here got a little artifacts or well, it could be seen as those neon control lights that go between the letters and getting you know, the power to the sign. So um, it's actually pretty good. Let's try this again with the fill mode and see how that works for us. We're going to reuse the seed. So we're getting 
consistent results between our outputs. Now this is pretty good as well, I think I like this one actually. And uh, now we got some new colors with the fill. Now the original just took the colors that we had in the background in our previous image. So if you want uh, more added, you can try with fill. I think this is, uh, I'm fairly happy with this. We have the background here that we had from the start. The neon sign has actually picked up some of the color that we have in the parts here. So it kind of completes the image. And I think that's a happy accident that we're all very joyous about. And here you can see the input image and the results side by side. And I think we did a great job. You can see here from remove everything that was in here and replaced it with our neon sign here. Now you can do any style of text that you want. This is not limited to the neon sign that we did. So that's all about you prompting it in. So be creative, try it out and show me your best results in Discord and let me know in the comments what you thought about this and if you have any tips or tricks to improve on the workflow. I would love to hear what you think and if you can make it even easier. I would love to have a workflow where we can skip going into PhotoP altogether and just doing it all in Stable Fusion. I hope you enjoyed and remember I do the research so you don't have to. Like and subscribe if you wanna. Thank you for watching. As always, have a good one.